not doing nothing with CBS. Next question. They know what they did. You hit them like us, man. Why do you do this to yourself? Come on. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. And in this moment, we got to discuss Deion Sanders. Uh, it's officially football season, which means that there are going to be a lot of drama situations going on. And the latest with Deion Sanders as he unleashes on a CBS News reporter. And uh, this thing is making a lot of headlines, guys. It's going viral. I want you guys to get in here right now. Subscribe to the YouTube channel first. Thumbs up. Like the video, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, man. You guys already know that I am slightly uh, unbiased when it comes to Deion Sanders because a lot of his antics, I just feel like, are not professional to me. And no matter, you know, how much of a star you are, man, you still have an obligation to the media. It comes with the job. Players are fine for it. And so are coaches if they do not handle their business properly. Uh, but this article, and we will get into the video, I will see if I can show the video because you guys know how YouTube is with copyright. It goes on to say Denver sports anchor blast Deion Sanders effort to intimidate reporters. Now, guys, I have not seen the full clip of this, but uh, this is Deion Sanders. Uh, I actually think Deion Sanders looks swaggy with the beard, man. Uh, I think he should keep it. Uh, and <laughs> this is Denver's own reporter right here who completely... Uh, goes in on Deion Sanders, but first let's actually get into the epic video that is sparking all of this controversy, guys. Kristen said with CBS Sports Colorado. Um, Tyler, no, I'm not doing nothing with CBS. Next question. That was rude, man. That was rude because Deion Sanders spoke at first and said, Hey, how you doing? Oh, CBS Sports, I'm not doing nothing with you guys. Off the rip, guys, come on, man. Like, I get it. I know a lot of people in the community are going to say, Oh, man, they. He's a brother, so excuse him. No, like, come on, guys. We got to be honest with you guys. If this happens regularly, like, trust me, guys. If this were to happen regularly in the NFL, uh, a lot of head coaches will probably be under fire and potentially lose their job, man. But Deion Sanders is put on a pedestal. Uh, a lot of coaches feel like Deion Sanders has not earned the right to even act the way he's acting. Uh, and I agree. But let's keep going. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, I promise you guys that the reason that I have to give pushback on these, man, these are some nice shades he has on. The reason that I have to give pushback on this, guys, is because, let's flip the rolls around. This was a white guy. They did this to a black reporter. We know that this will cause an uproar. I'm just being honest with you guys. Like, it will be, and y'all know I'm not lying, okay? I know a lot of people try to come in and say whatever, Uncle Tom shit, whatever. But I'm just telling you guys because because of the way the world is now is why a lot of my videos are you pretty much i make my videos with a point to prove because i'm just like okay like first off let's be honest Deion sanders gets hell of coverage that a lot of coaches multiple championships do not get and out of all of the black head coaches Deion sanders seems to get all of that attention he sucks all the oxygen out of the room and does not leave any uh for these other black historic college coaches and you know in return this is how you're going to treat the media now this guy says he's not national he's with denver which means he's local bro i'm just here to do my job locally and uh even though he may be in affiliation with cbs uh i'm curious to know like if you guys know what happened uh why Deion sanders is acting this way towards this news reporter please drop it in the comment section guys because i would love to do a video about that maybe i'll do my research on it as well but uh in my opinion this is uh this is a nuisance man this is totally unprofessional man and the way that you know the guy is just trying to do his job he's just trying to feed his family and at the end of the day we we all are either have been there or we are there now i mean at the end of the day we all have to make ends meet so i i don't like the way that Deion sanders handled that but uh, maybe maybe guys i could be wrong maybe he has legit reasoning but so far i just do not align with this but let's keep going Okay. Coach John Keeler of the Denver Post. Happy summer, my man. You hit him like us, man. Why do you do this to yourself? Come on. You don't like us. Mark man. likes him, by the way. Huh? Yeah, he, Mark, Mark said he likes me. No, so you, you don't. Why do you do this, though? No, no, I'm sorry. Two part if I could. What's up with Dion? Yo, yo. Time out, flag on the play. Bro, 
why is Dion on one right now, man? Like, is it a lot of stuff getting leaked to the media that maybe Dion does not like? Uh, it just seems like he's in a <laughs> he's on a tear right now. Like, what's going on? Like, it has to be something in depth. Like, it has to be something that has happened. Uh, maybe he could let us know so that we don't have to speculate the way that we are. Uh, but Deion Sanders, man, this isn't a good start. And like I said, guys, like, hey, if Deion Sanders is going to go out here, win 12 games, go undefeated or whatnot, hey, you know, talk like this. I still think it's pretty disgusting and ugly. But hey, if you if you really can go out there and handle yourself and, you know, you know, prove why you can talk to the media like this, I don't think you should. But, you know, if he has a winning record, maybe all will be excused. But right now, based off of last season, man, like Deion Sanders, man, you're there to do a job, man. You are not above that, you know. And that's what has happened, you know, with Deion Sanders' emergence. Uh, all you got ESPN, Skip Bayless drastically trying to hold on to his show, uplifting, you know, only the Colorado program, literally going on air with all of the recruits, that Deion Sanders is getting and he's using the mainstream media to help him recruit even more. I mean, guys, like it's a lot of reasons to be a little bit, you know, negative towards Deion Sanders. Not saying that I'm like that, but I do see the bias towards him. I just feel like, man, like, hey, all I got to say is, man, I really, really hope that he knocks this season out of the park because I'm sure going to be covering a lot of Deion Sanders videos. I did quite uh, a bit of them last season and I look forward to this season because you know, hold your hold your rollie up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's some that's some great content. <laughs> like you know you don't play. Like, why do you do No 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 it's not about that football question. Football no, no, question. Why do you do <laughs> like it would be hard for me to really engage in someone I don't like or something I don't like. I'm just asking why. Like why? Whoa, yeah. whoa. What did I do? <laughs> you do it's not about that. It's not about why. I'm asking you why. Yeah, you can ask me. That, that's okay, okay. ask you me. Because yeah. you want me to ask you so Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right. That's fair. Why? Why? Because I have Give questions. Why? What? What? What's your why? What do you want to know? Why are you? You always on attack. Like what? What did we? Do? Where am I? Where, where am I on attack today? Where wow. I'm not gonna give you opportunities to be on attack. Okay. Uh, where is where is this going, man? Like. Where is this going? I see a lot of hidden context that uh, is not surfacing right now amongst Deion Sanders and these news reporters, man. Uh, what What is going on? Y'all let me know, man. I'm, I'm lost over here, man. This is my first time watching this video. I saw it yesterday. I didn't think it was that interesting until it just kept popping up. I said, oh, let me do my due diligence and, 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 and exercise my timeline. And I saw snippets of this video, man. And uh, I'm just curious to know, like, what's, go what's going on here? Y'all let me know. I'm asking you why. Like, what does it do for you? Like, what happened? It's not, it's not about me. But what happened? What happened? To get you like this. It's <laughs> a good question. No, I'm serious. Because I want to help. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I want to help. Because it's not going. We can talk about that. We can talk about that. Can I ask you a football question? No, seriously. No, we talk about that. When we talk about that, I talk about that with you. Can we ask you a football question, please? When I talk about that, we talk about that. We can talk about that. Wow. Uh, guys, I don't really know what that was, uh, but I do think that it was very out of line and very unprofessional. Uh, and some people are going to probably say that it wasn't, but in my opinion, I, I, I do. I do think that it was very, very, you know, unprofessional. And what I got from that was, uh, I don't think that this season is going to be as far as the media man i feel like either two things are going to happen either they're going to be more of a nuisance and annoying towards the young sanders or they're going to you know curl up and and run away and not bother the young sanders when he's like this but this is pretty much what it was he was hostile and bullied individuals who dared to ask him a question in the press now the reason i i don't like Deion sanders doing this is because what the media is going to do bro they're going to win I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to become a, a, a story that they may have to talk about with players. They're going to ask players, is he normally like this? Then you see all of the stuff that Jason Whitlock is leaking. Make sure y'all watch that video because I plan to release that very soon. But you guys are going to see that, man. I can already see where this is going to go. Honestly, all season is going to be, oh, it's okay if a white man do this versus the underlying denominator is just being unprofessional. That is the only thing. I feel like it's wrong uh, with this. I feel like even if you just ignored him, that would have been better than the back and forth backlash because it just, to me, it just, I feel like as a leader amongst young men who you want to follow them, they're going to look at this and they're going to act like this. They're going 
the, the coach's identity is the team's identity. I want y'all to know that. I, I would assume y'all know that. So I just feel like, bro, like at the end of the day, when your students or your, excuse me, your young athletes start to act like this, then we shall not be caught off guard. And obviously it's a lot of stuff going on anyway, but this does not help the situation in my humble opinion, guys. Uh, still want to see, you know, Colorado actually do good because it's actually good for the media. It is actually good for me and my content. So you guys tell me what y'all think. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up if you found any value. And do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.